Godenda. That means hello in Icelandic. And uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, a new flight controller that I got. The Newbie Drone Infinity All-in-One. This is just going to be an unboxing and kind of a test out on how it's going to fit as far as on the frames and what you're going to be looking at. So let's dig into it. Taking a look at it, it comes in a little Newbie Drone type box. So the Newbie Drone Infinity All-in-One is a flight controller and ESC combo all together in one. The flight controller is a F7 flight controller. The gyro on it is a MCU 6000. The ESC is a BL Heli 32 ESC that supports continuous current of 45 amps and burst current of 55 amps from LiPo voltage of 3 to 6S. There we go. So I was really impressed with the Infinity 300 series. It has double heat sinks on top and bottom as well as it being an all-in-one. So what I think it's going to be is a perfect workhorse, you know, workhorse uh, because it's double-sided. I It actually has quite big, uh, uh, like almost like a three millimeter thick uh, PCB on it. And then it looks like one side of it is going to be the flight controller. And the bottom side of it is going to be the ESC. The fact that it also has double uh, heat sinks on it, which will give the board not only a, a cool look to it, but also provide an extraordinary amount of heat sink protection. So that is really kind of what excites me because it can take, you know, the crashes and splashes of Bando life and still come a coming. So uh, it does work with the DJI Air unit and then it still has uh, one UART. So if you were going to use a crossfire, you can still set that up as well. Here is a top view of the all-in-one controller. Uh, these pictures were from Newbie Drone's website. Uh, I did this because I had a little difficulty telling where the forward direction is for the gyro. I had to use the motor numbers in order to determine the default gyro position. And then here is the bottom one. And this is just to kind of help you out as far as where everything is at. Um the dimensions on it. So on the width of it, you're looking at around 37 uh, millimeters. Then the length of it. And I will also give you the specs that they have listed on the Navy drone site as well. So approximately 38 millimeters, um, not including the XD60 uh, connections, and if you include the XD60 connections, you're looking at about 42.4 millimeters. As for you're looking at right around an eight, anywhere from 8.2. All right, so what comes with it is you have the little case that comes with it. You have the flight controller all in one unit. You have three DJI cables, a long one, a medium, and a short one. XD60 cable. You have a 470 microfarad capacitor. And then you have a bag of hardware and flight control isolators. Um, so we're going to do a couple weights, and I did it this way because uh, I'm going to use a different mounting system than normal. Um, and it comes with two different types of grommets. So without any grommets, it's 20.8 grams, the one that I have. Um, I'll list it on the site here. If you have the smaller type grommets, they're about 0.6 grams. So the all up weight is going to be about 21.5, 21.4. And then the larger size grommets. Okay. 
Point two, meh, almost ne ne negligible. So the grommet weight is pretty insubstantial. Um, yeah. Cool to kind of show you guys how I do this. Um, so first off, remember you can read on the infinity, the mar motor markings, they are numbered. So ready one two so this this way um how i'm going to do it is i'm going to be using these vibration dampening little icon things and they have they just need a little bit of a a thread to screw on just like that i like this also because it spaces it out just a little bit above the carbon fiber. These just happen to be the iFlight ones that I grabbed. I also have ones directly from Pyrodrone as well. I'm trying them both out because, yeah, why not? So for this specific application, um, I just use those isolators and I actually didn't use the rubber gummies. I just used nylon knots at the top and you can see it's it's on there. It's going to prevent any vibrations from going there and it's going to hold it still for most of your G-forces. It will also uh, protect the flight controller when you have impact. So that's what I would recommend uh, doing for this one. Um, overall, it looks like it's going to be a super clean build. You can kind of see with this, it, it also gives you sufficient enough air gap. Um, I'll generally run my one wire that I have to, which really is going to be for my air unit. And then actually I take that back. I'm also going to have the bridge cord over here for the um, DGI. And just so you can kind of see, I'm going to go over it, but yeah, it's perfect distance. Um, it would also go underneath. 